Excuse me, little boy. Have you seen my son? Pop, I am your son. You, oh, that's ridiculous. You don't look anything but like Pop, my... Pop, it's me. It's Junior. Me. Well, Pluperter's juvious it is. Would you mind telling me, young man, how you got into this condition? Well, you see, Pop, me and the other kids were playing a game. What game? It's called Mud. You see... Never mind, never mind. I'd rather not hear about it. Uh, how many times have I told you, son, a happy home is a neat home? But I'm a boy, Dad, not a home. The adage still applies. Perhaps if I related a fable illustrating it, you'd understand more clearly. Uh, you're sure you're my son? It's me. Yeah, uh, well... No. Well, many years ago, there was a hut in the forest. No one had lived in this hut for 20 years. Then one day, a tiger and his wife came along in search of a new abode. Well, uh, it ain't Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, but it'll do. Do what? Never mind, kitten. It's been a long day. And with that, they went inside and set up housekeeping. Like most tigers, they had good habits and bad habits. Telling you about their good habits would make a very uninteresting fable, so we shall dwell on their bad habits. The worst of which was eating a meal and then throwing the bones out of the window. You know what I want for Christmas, Tiger Baby? A garbage disposal. What do you need a garbage disposal for when you got a window? Ah, but six months later, that question came up again. You know what I want for Christmas, Tiger Baby? A room with a view. Yes, by now the bones had piled so high they blocked the window. Here. Take this shovel and go bury the bones. Uh, I got a better idea. You take the shovel and go bury the bones. Yeah, that settled it. The bones stayed right where they were. Unable to throw them out the window, they were now forced to throw them out the door. And in less than a year, they were completely hemmed in. Tagger, baby, I got a bone to pick with you. You're bugged by our present existence, right? Right. Either the bones go or I go. Bye, sweetie. Gathering her few possessions, Mrs. Tiger prepared to bid her husband farewell. And that's when they heard the strange noise. Cats being curious, he clawed his way out the window to investigate, and what he saw was a rare bone-eating porcupine. Unpack, kitten. Our problems are over. What do you mean? Well, like Aesop says, there's a rare bone-eating porcupine out there. And he'll have us deboned by morning. Greatly relieved, the two tigers retired, but not for long. Tiger baby, go tell that porcupine to chew softer. <laughs> All right, kitten. Yow! What'd he say? Well, he didn't say much, but I did get the point. Well, look, I'd rather be boned in than lose a night's sleep. Get rid of the porcupine. All right, kitten. In back of the grass hut was a high cliff, and on top of that cliff, the tiger found a heavy anvil. All I gotta do is push this anvil over the ledge and... Oh! No more porcupine. Taking careful aim, he summoned all his animal strength and... <laughs> over it went. That takes care of that. I guess that takes care of you. Oh, I must have missed. Honey, have you seen a... Where'd you get the new hat? I can see right now that if I want anything done, I have to do it myself. Pick up the cannonball. Yes, kitten. Put it into the cannon. Yes, kitten. By the way, uh, what are we doing? I'll get that porcupine into the cannon and we'll blast him clear out of the county. Lighting the fuse, she got the porcupine's attention by saying... Oh, look. Look at that big, juicy bone inside of the cannon. Where? There's only one thing left to do. You mean... We gotta move. With that, the tigers picked up the grass hut and months later set it down in the middle of the North Pole. You know something, baby? It's cold outside. Yeah, but at least we got rid of the porcupine. Ah, but days later, they were up to their old tricks. They lived on walrus steaks and, just as before, threw the bones outside the hut. Needless to say, it wasn't long before a rare bone-eating penguin picked up where the porcupine left off. And so the tigers lived unhappily ever after. Now, you see, boy, why I always say a happy home is a neat home. Home? Yeah, I can see that. But it seems to me it'd be better to say people who live in grass houses shouldn't throw bones. <laughs> Takes after his mother, he does. Mm.